Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Hallie and I'm so happy that you're here. I am so excited for today's video. I mean, honestly, I've kind of been putting this off all day, but I am very excited for today's video. Today we are going to be completely reorganizing my bookshelves. Last night I was up until like 2 in the morning recording all of the books on my physical TBR. If you have not watched that, I am starting a book buying ban and I plan on trying to go until August of 2024. So that is why all of my books are off my my shelf. I have one shelf up there that just has all the books that I've already read because obviously those are not on my TBR. But other than that, these are <laughs> all the books that I physically own and have not read yet that I need to organize on my bookshelves. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Technically the first step of this would have been to take all of my books off of the bookshelves, but like I've said, I've already done that except for a couple of books up top. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to just take all of my books and get them separated into different genres. That way I can group the genres together whenever I put them onto my bookshelf and like down here So if you've never seen my channel before these are the bookshelves I have they're like little floating shelves. So I want all the genres to stay together. I don't really know where I want to put anything yet, but I think that the best place to start is just getting them all separated into piles because that in itself feels like a task, you know, like mm. But it's okay. It'll be fun. <laughs> There are some books that I don't have yet because I ordered them online for myself for Christmas and they just like have not come yet. And then also the books that I have already pre-ordered, I'm not counting as breaking my book buying ban because I paid for them before I started the book buying ban. So that is me girl mathing my way through still getting some new releases whenever they get out, even though I'm on a book buying ban. So I will be doing a quick bookshelf tour as well at the end of this video. But if you want something more in depth, then you can watch my entire physical TBR video. I talked a little bit more about each and every book in that. So I'm going to go ahead and separate everything into piles of genres and then after I do that we'll see how it's looking and just see what we're going to do next. But definitely just separating everything so I can get a good look at how many in each genre we have. separated everything into three main piles. I have all of my fantasies here up front and then I have all my romances right here. I have a tiny pile of dark romances. It's literally like three books and then I have all of my thrillers on my chair back here behind me. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So what I want to do next is within each genre pile separate by author and then like series. So step three is it step three or four? separating all the books by author and series. We'll just do that and go from there so I don't get too overwhelmed.
probably looks relatively the same to you guys because it's just stacks of books. I have everything separated out into stacks of series and then within each genre I have one stack of all of the single or like I guess they're not standalones but if I only have one book from the author I just put it in this pile because it doesn't matter what it's next to but like all of these other stacks are books that I have multiple of the author. So already having it this way I'm feeling so much less overwhelmed like it feels so much more organized but I almost forgot for Christmas me and my friends did a little secret Santa. This was our second time doing a secret Santa. We're trying to make like an annual tradition so this was our second annual Christmas secret Santa thing and this year one of the gifts I got is so freaking cute. I got an embosser and it literally is so cute. I'll put a picture like up close so you can see but it just says from the library of Hallie Jones and it's just like the most thoughtful gift first of all but like it's just so cute and personalized so this is gonna take a lot of effort but before I put all of the books on the shelf I want to emboss them all yeah so this is gonna take me a second but like once I have all these done it'll be so much easier like whenever I get new books to just do the one I'm probably gonna hate doing this but then at the end I'll be so happy I told Mark eventually I would love like when we have a house to have a whole library room and I think like to qualify as having a library you have to have like a thousand books or something like that but how cute would it be if one day in the future I had a library room and every single one of the books in the room was embossed with the same little stamp like that's just so freaking cute and like I showed you guys in my sleepover video how I made the little library thing with my friends and so it's just so cute because when they borrow books from me it'll say it's from my library like that's just so freaking cute so I want to really quickly well it won't be really quick I'm gonna put on a YouTube video and go through and emboss all of these and then after that we will finally start putting the books onto the bookshelf because everything is fully separated and ready to go this is the last thing before they can get on the bookshelf and I'm so happy that I didn't forget about this before I started putting everything away because if I would have gotten everything up on the shelves and then remembered I probably would have cried. So I'm going to do that real quick watch a YouTube video and then when we are done with that we will go ahead and organize everything on the bookshelves. I'm so excited. you guys it has been so long first of all embossing all the books took so freaking long like I knew it was gonna take a long time but then once I started doing it I was like this is gonna take forever and it took probably like an hour and a half for me to do all of the books in that pile and then at the end of it I was like man I am so bored <laughs> I was so bored. Not bored, it's just like I had been sitting there for so long after organizing the piles and organizing the authors in the series and embossing all the books. It was like, I'm so over this right now. So um, then I procrastinated on my phone for like an hour. Then I ate dinner and then I watched 90 Day Fiance because the reunion just came out or not just came out, but I just, I had one more episode to watch. It literally does not matter. I procrastinated. It's now 9.30 PM and I need to put all my books away because they're all just on the floor and I can't just leave them like that. So we're gonna put the books away now, the fun part, yay. I honestly have no idea how I want to organize everything. I, I think I'm just gonna start putting things on and then go from there. Like maybe once I see them on, I'll have different ideas or I'll know like, oh, I actually don't want this there or whatever. The only thing that I'm thinking is I definitely wanna have the books that are either like really pretty covers or that I'm like really excited to read or that I really like so far. Like if it's a series, I don't know, on like these three shelves because I feel like these three are the ones that I see the most because they're eye level once you get like down here and like at the bottom I have this little shelf 
too that can have books in it but I don't love putting books in this one because I never see them it's so close to the ground and like my bed blocks the view and like I don't really see the ones on this bottom shelf too much either and then at the very top I feel like I only see those whenever I very first come in the room because they're so high up I just like don't see them that often so I definitely want to put the books that I either really like the way they look or like it's a cute series or I'm excited for or whatever in this area and then I also have under the TV here those three cube thingies are mine the other five one two three yeah the other five are for Mark's manga on the whole bottom row and then the corner I was going to steal another shelf from him but he already has like two tubs of his manga in our storage so I felt kind of bad taking any more room from him when he's already packed up a bunch of his books and brought them to storage to give me more space that was so nice of him and then obviously on that wall by my door I have those two little shelves which like I said this bottom one I've just been using as my TBR shelf and then I don't know what I want to do with the top one over there so we'll see I might want to end up using that one for like my cute like maybe special edition books or I don't know because it's like its own moment over there but like I don't know if that's so random to have my special edition books next to my TBR shelf like I don't know I just don't know so <laughs> these are my thoughts I'm just gonna start grabbing books and then and we'll go from there. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna start grabbing and then we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is what I have so far. I'm liking, I don't know where to stand because my room is such a like weird size and shape. This is what I have so far. Now there's a shadow over my face. This is what I have so far. I feel like I'm liking this vibe. I like the colors going together. It feels cohesive, but not too on purpose. The only issue is I really love these books laying down. Like I love the way that they look, but I don't know if they'll be able to stay like this because of spacing issues. I still have quite a few books left, specifically fantasies, and I don't know if I want the fantasy section to really be split up. I don't know. Also, I was thinking about it and I feel like I might want to put my thrillers at the bottom there because I just like have not been in my thriller era. I have truly been in my like fantasy and romance era. When I first started reading, I felt like I was really, really, really into thrillers, but I don't know. I'm just like all about honestly fantasy right now. I, I have read quite a few fantasies back to back and I'm still like not tired of it. So I'm going to keep riding the train until I get tired of it and then I'll switch to something else. But I think Think that I might take a break on doing up here because I feel kind of stuck on what to do next and just get the thrillers organized at the bottom real quick because I think that's where I want them. If I change my mind, I can just move them, but I'm just going to try them out on this bottom shelf and see how they fit and then go from there because right now I don't know what else to do up here and I don't want to put stuff up just to end up not liking it and move it. So I want to just take a second and just do thrillers real quick. I put a bunch of the thrillers. So I have the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, another Holly Jackson book, Five Survive, The Night Swim by Megan Golden. And then here I have Lucy Foley, Riley Saker, Alice Feeney, and then The Silent Patient. Maybe I should switch these so that the two Alice Feeney books stay together. Is that better? I don't know. Down here, things got a little bit mixed up. I put Haunting and Hunting Adeline down here, honestly, because I just realized you can't even see me. Hi. Honestly, I put these down here though because they are dark romance and I've never read dark romance like that. And I honestly didn't know anything about those books. I just had seen them on TikTok. And when I was doing the embossing, I read the trigger warnings and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Now I feel like I don't know when slash if I will ever read these. So I just put them at the bottom here. Here. And then I also put four of my Colleen Hoover books down here and now it's full. I don't know if I love the way it looks. It kind of feels kind of cluttered, but I'm just going to leave it for now. And then if I want to change it and I have extra space at the end of it, then I will do that. Let's keep going. Okay. 
Okay, I think I like what is going on up here. I feel like I like can't even show you. Can you see? <laughs> the next thing I want to figure out is what I'm going to do with the Sarah J Mass world because going into 2024, one of my goals is to read all of Throne of Glass. I ultimately would like to get caught up to Crescent City, but that's just a lot of books and I'm not the fastest reader and I have a lot going on outside of reading. So I don't want to put too much pressure on me. Like I feel like already just trying to commit to finishing <laughs> the Throne of Glass series feels a little daunting because the books are so thick. But I want to definitely have a place to put all of them so that throughout the year I am constantly reminded of my goal to get further into the Sarah J Mass world. So I was thinking I could put them either on this shelf or this shelf. But I didn't know because I could stack the Throne of Glass series from here to here and then put like Akatar and then maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it out because I don't know how this is gonna work or if it will work. I'm gonna stop talking about it and just try a couple different things and then I will, mm, we'll catch up in a sec. I am actually really liking how this is coming out so far. So I have romance, 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 and then Sarah J Mass, And then down here, I just put fourth wing and iron flame like between this shelf and the cabinet. And I really like that, but it is kind of making me reconsider having all of the thrillers at the bottom. Like I think maybe instead I should do a continuation of some fantasy down there. Cause I don't know, like I'm loving the vibes of this. Like the way that the shelf looks right now is inspiring me to read. Like it's making me want to read and I love that feeling but then like when I see all the thrillers down here and the way that I have them displayed it's just not giving me that so I don't know I'm thinking about moving all of those just to this shelf under my tv instead but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that yet so instead I want to take a break from this shelf again and go over to the other side of my room and work on my little tbr section which will be empty right now because I haven't made my tbr for next month yet but I want to see about maybe doing some of my uk covers and stuff like that over there so i'm gonna move you guys over to the other side of the room so we can try that real quick okay welcome to the other side of my room ignore my messy bathroom this is what happens whenever i get ready this is the shelf that i was talking about so i usually use this shelf as my tbr for each month and then up here this is where i was thinking about doing some of my like cute covers i didn't i mean i didn't know they're i have uk and cute covers on that shelf too so i guess it wouldn't be cute covers it would just i'm mainly thinking of like my once upon a broken heart series and then i can put carval next to that because because they obviously go together. I don't know, like maybe Powerless can go over here. So I guess it'll be a continuation on fantasy, actually. I don't really know. I'm just gonna try it and see if I like it. Okay, okay. Okay, I think this is how I'm gonna leave the shelf. It looks a little bit bare, but that's just because I have the whole Once Upon a Broken Heart series up there, which I have not read yet because I'm getting through Carval, but I'm really anticipating loving it. And the covers are just so beautiful because I got the UK covers. And then right next to it, I have Divine Rivals and Powerless. And I don't wanna add anything else because my UK cover of Ruthless Vows is supposed to get here like literally any day. So I wanna have room to put that under Divine Rivals. And then I already pre-ordered Reckless by Lauren Roberts. So I also want to have a cutie little spot to put that whenever it does come out this summer. I'm dying. I'm dying to read Reckless. I think I'm just going to leave like that for now. Unless I end up needing more space, obviously, then I will rearrange again and figure that out. But sitting here looking at all of my fantasies... I think I might actually want to move my thrillers, like I was saying, and do my fantasies under this bookshelf instead. Well, I don't know, because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, maybe I do want my thrillers there because I don't really like see that ever. And maybe I would like it better to do more of my fantasies here because then when I'm laying in bed, this is what I will see. <sighs> I just don't know. This is like honestly so hard. I have more books than I realized also. I mean, that's just, I have too many books. <laughs> so I also think I want to rearrange Mark's manga a little bit. I kind of have it just like put in here and I never really went through and like organized it to where it looked cohesive, not necessarily by color or anything, but I just want to like look cutie patootie. So I'm going to really quickly try and just test out some organization in these shelves of the remaining fantasy and romance that I have and see what I come up with. Cause I feel like I'm 
I'm really loving the shelves right now. I just need to figure out where to put these last books. So. My gosh I'm finally finished doing my shelves that literally just took me so much longer than it should have so I'm going to just really quickly give you guys a run through of how I organize my shelves hopefully they will stay like this for a while I do want to get different shelves for under my TV like actual bookshelves maybe or I don't know I just haven't bought anything because I'm not sure what I want to do and I don't want to buy it until I'm sure so for now this is good enough until I decide what I want to do but over here I ended up stealing one of Mark's shelves I know I literally said I wasn't gonna do that so whoopsie but I made it work both of our stuff fits so all four of these bottom shelves are Mark's manga and comic books so I'm not gonna like go over that because that's not my forte you know I just like to read about love and fairies and <laughs> dragons so all three of these cubes are fantasy books I have my Barnes and Noble edition of A Curse for True Love I have Never by Jessa Hastings Serpent in the Wings of Night and then Six Scorch Roses which is the Crowns of Nyaxia series I think and I did order the second book in the this series. This is a novella, but I did order the second book, but the hardcover doesn't come out until I think next summer. So for now, I just have those two. I have Hooked by Emily McIntyre, How Does It Feel by Janine O'Reilly, the first book in the Shatter Me series by Tara Moffey. I have Air of Ashes by H.M. Darling, One for My Enemy by Olive Blake, From Blood and Ash by Jennifer Armentrout, and then on this shelf, I have Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Moscato, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, which is the first in the series of like six books, I think, Legendborn, which I believe is also the first book in a series. Series, Jade City, which is the first book in a series. Vow of Thieves and Dance of Thieves by, I don't remember, I think it's like Mary E. Pearson or something. I'm, I don't remember. Then I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, which so many of you guys have recommended me to read. So I am very excited to get into those. The Carval Trilogy, so Carval, Legendary, and Finale by Stephanie Garber. And then I have The Kingdom of the Wicked series by Carrie Menescalco, which now that I think about it, I should have put that by Throne of the Fallen, but oh well, it's too late now. This is how it's staying. So I just have Kingdom of the Wicked, Kingdom of the Curse, and then Kingdom of the Feared. Then starting to move into the remaining romance that didn't fit on my big shelf, I have My Dark Romeo, Darling Venom, Punk 57, Twisted Love, The Seven Year Slip, Things I Wanted to Say, Fine Print, Life is Too Short, The Happily Ever After Playlist, The Friend Zone, Hook, Line, and Sinker, It Happened One Summer, Unfortunately Yours, and Secretly Yours. So that's all of the books on the shelf underneath my TV. Over here on this little tiny shelf, I just have, this is backwards, why did I put it like this? Now that makes sense. I have Once Upon a Broken Heart, The Ballad of Never After, and A Curse for True Love, which is the Once Upon a Heart series by Stephanie Garber. Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, which I am going to get the second book in the series called Ruthless Vows, like literally any day now. So that will go right here with this. And then I have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I also did order the second book, like I said, but that's not gonna be here until this summer. I'll be crying about that until it gets here. This will be my, I'm like out of breath from talking. <sighs> This will be my TBR shelf. So whenever I make my January TBR, this is where all of those books will live. And then moving over to my desk, I just put my Boys of Tommen series right here. I'm still missing one of those books. So once I find that in the alternative cover, I will put that here, but I just have Binding 13, Keeping 13, and then Redeeming 6. I think I'm just missing Binding 6. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm gonna start off at the bottom of the shelf. I ended up putting my Harry Potter series here because I just could not find a place that it fit. And I usually leave these curtains open anyway. So this like is not gonna be in the way. 
and I felt like it still went because it's in between my desk and the bookshelves, so that's fine. In here, I have mainly thrillers. It did get a little bit messy down here. I have two literary fictions I didn't know where to put, so I also threw those down here, and then I also have my Colleen Hoover's, like I said, and then these two dark romances, but I have The Silent Patient, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Daisy Darker, The House Across the Lake, The Only One Left, The Paris Department, The Guest List, then I have The Night Swim, The Perfect Marriage, Killjoy by Holly Jackson, which is a novella in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, and I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood, As Good as Dead, and then Five Survived by Holly Jackson. Then I have Haunting and Hunting Adeline, which that's the dark romance series that I was talking about. I have Too Late by Colleen Hoover, The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret, which I didn't really love, actually. The Housemaid put me into a reading slump, which I know is like a super controversial opinion. So many people like that, but I just was disappointed. And then I have It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, Verity also by Colleen Hoover, and then I have Tomorrow, 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 and A Little Life by Hana Yanagihara. Those are the two literary fictions that I was telling you about. And then I also have Happiness Falls, which is a thriller that just didn't fit up here with the rest of the thrillers. And then on these two shelves, this is like my Sarah J Mass section. I have the entire Throne of Glass series right here. This is the order that I am reading it in. I am reading Assassin's Blade first and then Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and then Kingdom of Ash. Then I am going to go into Akatar, which I am missing one of my books because my friend is borrowing it. I think it's A Court of War and I don't remember. It's the pink one. I don't remember what it's called. I have A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, the one that I'm missing, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and then A Court of Silver Flames. And then once I read that, I will go into Crescent City and I just have House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. If they come out with a matching Barnes & Noble special edition cover of the third one, I will probably buy that even if I'm on the book buying ban because I want them to match. Moving on to the last three shelves. These are all romances and this is honestly my favorite part of the shelves and I'm glad that I put these all here because this is the first thing you see when you walk in the room. So I'm glad that this is like the main focus. But on these shelves, I have the Chestnut Spring series, which right now I'm missing one of them, but I have Flawless, Heartless, Powerless, and Reckless. I believe the one that I'm missing is called Hopeless. Then I have two Allie Hazelwood books, Love on the Brain and Love Theoretically. Then I have all of my Lucy Score books here. I have the, what is this called? The Knock Em Out series, I think it's called, which is, this is backwards too. Now that's correct, but I have Things We Hide From The Light, Things We Never Got Over, and then Things We Left Behind, and then also By A Thread, which is not part of the Knock em Out series, it's just also by Lucy Score. And then up here, I have the Magnolia Parks Universe series by Jessa Hastings. I have Magnolia Parks, Daisy Hates, Magnolia Parks, and The Long Way Home, and then Daisy Hates, The Great Undoing. And then the fifth book, I actually did order the UK version of like the OG cover style, which I believe is Magnolia Parks Into The Dark. So that will be here in February. I'm not sure. Then I have all of Emily Henry's books. I have Book Lovers, People We Meet on Vacation, Beach Read, and Happy Place. Her new release, Funny Story, I did also pre-order, so I kind of left room for that here. And then up at the very top, I have two Carly Fortune books, Meet Me at the Lake and Every Summer After, the Playing for Keeps series by Becca Mack, Consider Me, Play With Me, and Unravel Me. And then lastly, I have this little stack of mostly like books that I have just a single book from the author from, except for Hannah Grace. I have two of her books up here, which is Icebreaker and Wildfire. But other than that, I have Addicted to You, Love in Other Words, You Again, Wrong Mr. Number, and I think that's the last one up here. Or Mr. Wrong Number, not Wrong Mr. Number, hello. I think that's it. It feels so good to have my bookshelves organized. For the past, since I started reading, I have been buying books like a crazy person and I haven't taken the time to reorganize because I realized that with how many books I bought, I wanted to kind of update you guys on what I have bought, but then I ended up buying more than I realized and I just needed to completely reorganize organize everything and I'm honestly really glad that I'm starting a book buying ban after pulling them all out because it really made me realize like how many books I bought and I'm an absolute psychopath. It's just like one thing about me is I'm gonna hyperfixate. I'm gonna hyperfixate and then I'm gonna make it my entire life and personality and that's what I have done with books but like I'm not complaining because I love it so much and I also just love the book community because you guys have been so amazing and sweet and kind to me and like you just make reading books and the world of books that much better for me and I truly appreciate you guys all so much going through all of the books. There's so many books that I kind of forgot that I bought or forgot were about and I was just like skimming through them or reading the little blurb on the back while I was embossing them and I feel so excited to read so many of the books. Like I didn't know what it was about just like going through them one by one but like especially all of these there's like 10 books that I want to pick up tonight and read and I love this feeling. It just brings me right back to three months ago whenever I very first started my channel and like really started getting back into reading just like how exciting it all was. Like starting 
a new book and going through it for the first time, like experiencing a book for the first time, like there is nothing like that feeling. And I just feel so excited for all of these books. Genuinely, I am so excited. So I have officially updated you guys on my entire physical TBR. We have officially organized my bookshelves for the new year, new year, new me, new bookshelves. If you guys saw any books that you're excited to see me read, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss further videos of me reading those. I love making reading vlogs. But yeah, that's gonna be all for me today. I need to literally stop talking. I talk so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.